Hi Dress and Katie's Wayne here. Today we're gonna to draw a burger combo from In and Out. So let's get started. To draw this combo, we're gonna first start by drawing the burger. So I'm gonna come right here and draw a really wide curve. So this is gonna be the top of our burger right here, the bun part. And I'm just gonna to start to bring it down. Nice wide curve at the top. And from there, let's bring this part down on both sides. So now we have it pretty even on both sides. Let's go ahead and round it in for our bun. And then about right here, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it. Very soft curve. There, so we have the top of our bun in. And then now let's draw the next layer. I'm making mine a cheeseburger because I love cheese. So I'm gonna come right here and pop out a curve and it's melted cheese, of course, so it's going to drizzle down and I'm going to come down and go back up. And from there, let's come to this side. Same thing, just come down and go up. And so then let's go ahead and draw a curve to connect to the other side. So right about here, I'm going to dip down a little bit more and go back up. Make our cheese extra gooey, right? <laughs> okay, so we have our cheese layer. Now comes the meat. So once again, let's come about right here and pop it out, pop out a curve. So just make sure all your ingredients are right underneath this bun. So on this side, it's gonna show up a little bit more. I'm just gonna wobble a little bit for our meat patty. And so it's about the same level. From there, I'm gonna go across. And I'm just gonna wobble here and there to make it look more like the meat. There. And if you like, you can come inside for some details. You can just draw some small curves here and there to give it some texture. Or you can do that when you're coloring. Okay, so from there, now the lettuce. So the lettuce is just a bunch of wobble curves. So I'm just gonna come out right here and I'm just gonna wobble my way across. I'm gonna come to the other side and just wobble across, all up to you, up and down, sometimes bigger, sometimes smaller. So I hope you really enjoy this drawing and inspires you to draw it. <laughs> okay, so we have the lettuce in. Now let's draw the tomato. So once again, right under here, just a slight curve on both sides. And let's just bring it right across. Mm, maybe right there I'll stop. Just bring it in. Just in case you maybe two slices of tomato. It's up to you. Or you can just go all the way across. Okay, so now from there, the sauce. So we can come out small little curve at the bottom. Got to have the sauce, right? So here and there, I'm going to drizzle down. So. Come down with a curve here and there. And back. And then finally the bottom bun. So come down right here, curve it out a little bit on both sides. And we're gonna straighten it out from the bottom. Then start to curve it in. And let's go ahead and go all the way across and connect. There. Yum, right? <laughs> I hope so. Let's fix my curve up here a little bit. Okay, so we have our hamburger in. Let's bring it to life. So if you want, <laughs> let's, uh, you wanna make it extra cute, let's come about right here and we're gonna draw a circle. And I'm gonna come right across and draw another circle. And let's make them draw some cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights, a curve line at the bottom, and shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. Same thing over here. 
So let me know in the comments below if you love In-N-Out just like I do. And how do you order your In-N-Out? What is your favorite combo at In-N-Out? Mine is definitely a cheeseburger with grilled onion <laughs> and extra cheese. Okay, so I have the eyes in. Let's come above the eyes. Just gonna draw a little curve on top of each eye. And then for the mouth, I'm gonna make it a little tongue that sticks out because it's so yummy. So curve and in. And then come at the bottom right here with a little curve. Okay, so we're done with the burger. Now the amazing fries <laughs> that we have to draw. So I'm gonna come right next to our burger. Um, I'm just gonna come across a little bit, like kind of where the cheese is, um, about right here. Just give myself a point. And I'm gonna come right here and start to draw the box that the fry sits in. So I'm just gonna curve, and then another curve. From this point right here, we're gonna bring down angle lines. So we're drawing the box to about, we wanna go a little bit above the burger. So about right there, I'll stop. And I'm gonna draw a slight angle line just to give our box some dimension. Now from there, from this point, we're going to draw a curve. So if it's easier, you can start from this point, but I'm gonna show you. We're just gonna be drawing a curve that goes, say about right there, and then bring it down to a curve. About right there, we're gonna basically follow that same angle and bring it in. So we've created a container for our fries. Now to draw the fries. So it's random, but um, however you like to draw it, maybe just a few that actually look like fries and then everything else you can just draw in lines to fill it in. So I will start, let's just start at the bottom right here. So I'm just gonna randomly draw these rectangles here and there. Um, so maybe look at my sketch here, maybe one that goes up. So just start with the rectangles first. So maybe one that kind of pops out about right here. And don't worry about it. There's no right or wrong way. You just want to fill this all up. Sometimes when you give it a little angle, Bring this in that box right here. Finish it up and then um, so like I said here and there. We make this one give it a little bit of dimension. So by putting that at the ends, it kind of gives it a little bit more volume. So let's see here. Just trying to wing it as I go. <laughs> Fill up this space. Because we always want a lot of fries, right? Everybody demands this to be nice and full. So. Let's fill up this space. There, something like that. Let me. Be I better stop before I get carried away. <laughs> I 
Okay, there. So as long as it looks like fries in there, it's good enough, right? Okay, so we have that all filled in. Now let's come to the back right here and we're gonna draw the soda. So um, that's why I wanted to fill up in this space um, right here so that I can tuck a soda behind. So let's come about this high, say about right here. Give myself a point and I'm gonna draw angle line down all the way. Just a slight angle. And I'm gonna go across. About right there. And then bring another angle down. There, so we have our cup in. And let's come up right here. Just gonna give a little curve for the lip of our cup. And connect straight across. And then for the ice. So let's draw some ice right here, just random shapes that pop out of the drink. So let's see here. Okay, so there. And then if you like, you can add a straw. So I'm just gonna kind of poke it in there. So just two angles and connect there <laughs> okay and then let's um make it um let's draw the details in here so with the uh, soda let's start um there's two stripes i'm going to go right across with a thicker stripe for the red and then there's one line that's thinner and then um, there's a bunch of palm trees, but because of this drawing, when I'm simplify, I'm just gonna draw one big um, in and out palm tree. So let's start, I'm gonna start about right here. If you wanna draw all the small ones, you definitely can. So it's gonna be one prong, and then it's gonna come out. Two, so it's all ending about the, at an angle right there, and then let's come down. The other side, one, two, and back. And then the trunk, so curve, curve, and I'll end it right there just to simplify it. And going through the palm tree is a, another red line. So I'm gonna draw that. And then there's some squiggly red lines that are at the bottom. So there. Hopefully that will <laughs> convey that it is an In-N-Out soda. And if you like, just for fun, I'm going to add some bubbles up here. So some circles to make it look like our soda is really fizzy. And then you can add some um, maybe beads of water because it's nice ice cold. If you like. Okay, so we're done with our soda. Now for the fries. The box right here, I'm gonna add one palm tree on this side. So it's gonna be at a slant. Let's draw, draw the trunk first. So I'm just gonna do this really fast. It doesn't really matter as long as it looks like a palm tree. So it's gonna be at a slant. There, and then there's a line going through the palm tree. I'm just gonna follow my box. And same thing over here. So I'm gonna draw two palm trees here. So once again, zigzag back and forth. And another one. Right there. and tuck it in. And once again, draw the line through. And 
let's see here am i missing anything i hope not <laughs> that is pretty much it oh of course oh my goodness i almost forgot i have to draw some hearts right here right make it extra cute and because we all love in and out <laughs> So there, hope you love this cute little drawing that was inspired by in and out and inspires you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching. If you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.